How to make a title block. The National Building Code suggests this measurement for an A1 size title block, presenting the designer, project title, location, owner. And the minimum size of drawing sheets you could have is A3 297 by 420 millimeters. For this video, we're going to try to make a simple title block with more components than showed here, such as this one. To start, create a new page, look for File, Document Setup. You could see the paper size, A3, and enable our margins. I chose the color red to show the margins. Everything in 15 millimeter. The National Building Code, the left is actually bigger, maybe for binding purposes. Next, you can go to grid, show the grid, and choose a major color. I'll choose red. The minor grid will be maybe a bit of gray. So now we have guides. You could right click and enable grid snap. And let's create our first divisions. Using the line tool or L, let me create a division for two boxes plus small minor box. So that's one, two major boxes plus one minor box. This is supposed to be two major boxes by four by four. However, it did not show itself down here because of the boundary. Next, I would count four times. I could copy this, bring it four times to the left to make my first division. I could create Let's say maybe four more of that. So I could hold control, move four times, try to lock it on the grid. Or you could also draw on it. Another way is to put the reference point here. Hold down control, drag it until it locks to the other line. And maybe 3x to create three more copies to the left. If you couldn't see it, Try to make the stroke bigger in the shape style, say two points. Copy that and make our first border. Second one, use the middle mouse to pan. Third one until here. These two. Okay. And then create a box or rectangle, letter R, for the final border. Click Disable the Fill. And let's say the stroke for demonstration purposes will be 5 points. Very thick border. Now I could right click and hide the grid. We have our title block. Press T. Go to Textile, look for Anchor Bottom, click, choose your font, and the size. I could click here on the intersection and type Architect. You drag this to the right. Or make a copy and press 3x. This will be the engineer drawn by project title location. I think this is too much boxes. Let me see my reference. Architect project title owner. Oh okay so that was correct. Cut. Move this here. That here. Owner. Your reference as PRC 
issued on, issued at PTR and TIN. So you could make this line weight a bit smaller. So we'll try to show the grid and see if we can draw more lines. Shape style, stroke, one point. Strokes also thinner, point six. Height grid looks like that. Maybe I leave this upward, but I'll try just to stretch everything to the other line. Copy. Same for engineer. Maybe I'll just leave this until here. Style match. I don't have a midpoint here, but I can use this to create one midpoint. Okay. Make this check by and approved by be smaller date modified okay this will be the project number if you're keeping files in your office this could be the age Number and this could be the sheet number. Could I divide this by two? I guess that's all right. And we have the company logo and the details. I could make this bigger as well by selecting the whole thing and just moving it a little bit but I'll choose to remain it that way so it sticks to the grid regarding this demonstration now we can choose to put our code I will click architect make the font size bigger, say 14, and put the center. Proj, no. Project number or page number. Let's try to experiment on this using text box. Gets locked up here. Okay, put that to center and middle. Page number will be number capital T capital N that shows the number of pages because we are on page 3 and maybe the sheet number will be the page name page name which is this one see 4 and we have location location can be let's say Okay, now for the auto text. Text, customize auto text. Using what we learned last time, auto text, we could create custom text for architect, which will be Leandro Loxin. And it reflects down here auto text for project will be a proposed two-story residential building. 
you can see maybe too big it's bounded so you can adjust the bounding box make it a bit smaller location location let's say camp 7 Baguio City Philippines for date let's try to use date modified which will be capital D capital M the date we edited this document which is right now say the architect was the one who drew it as well project number project no let's say the for this office they named it their seventh residential project so rest seven page number let's say architectural page number sheet number four in the whole construction document okay now what you do since if you create a new page it disappears you select the whole thing turn it into a group make group and move to on every page turns red and it becomes on every page so that when you choose to lock it you couldn't erase it it actually says these drawings as instruments are to be used as instruments are the property and documents of the architect it should be unlawful for any person without the written consent of the architect or authors of said documents to duplicate or copy said documents from the republic Act of the philippines ra 9266 article 4 section 33. that means this document should not be reproduced by draftsmen owners engineers without the consent of the architect who owns these documents sanitary plumbing electrical so all of them to be written up here as instructed by this table of contents okay this one is usually already processed by the owner in the office of the building official city hall municipal hall siba so we have our design architectural the structural layout based on the architectural electrical mechanical electrical based on architectural sanitary based on architectural mechanical usually our elevators escalators plumbing and sanitary sometimes we merge them into one layout however we could separate them to the water line and the sanitary line electronics usually uh, we hire them or subcontract them for cctv LAN, cable and our geodetic is actually link up here for the site survey and the lot property what we could do is try to assume how many sheets we have and what i use for the texts here are actually not these drawn boxes but text boxes republic of the philippines office of the building official signature district city or municipality uh, it's our first box and what i do is i click on stroke to create the bounded box copy this below and i write these ones such as land use and zoning the name of the engineer let's say or the person to sign here let's remove some spaces and i try to match the width copy down here for other documents you may see that the title block is not here they can have a small one up here so you have to try to consult your ordinance to see if they accept that kind of title block as well.
So just for example's sake, these are all text box. What I can do is try to stretch them so I know that they have the same kind of spacing most likely. For my table of contents, if we would try to open a sample file, table of contents, title, architectural, I already placed how many sheets, so when you're counting it, you could easily find. Okay, so I don't know why these two are redundant. S1, structural 1, structural 2, 3, 4, plumbing, electrical. An example, and you could use scrapbook for these people as well. And this is a SketchUp model. There you go. And that's how to create a title block. Soundtrack to your life and perfect it.